Hello, my name is Gilbert Simoni and I'm a board certified gastroenterologist in Southern California as well as founder of Advanced Gastroenterology Inc. In this video, I'm going to inform you about one of the high-tech devices at our disposal called the capsule endoscopy, also known as wireless capsule endoscopy or for short WCE. WCE is a disposable video capsule the size of a vitamin pill which takes photographs of the inside of the small bowel. This camera has its own light source and takes pictures of your small intestine as it passes through. These pictures are sent via radio waves to a small recording device you have to wear on your body. Why is capsule endoscopy done? Capsule endoscopy helps me evaluate your small intestine. This part of the small bowel cannot be reached by traditional upper endoscopy or by colonoscopy. The most common reason for doing capsule endoscopy is to search for a cause of bleeding from the small intestine. It may also be used for protecting polyps, celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease or Crohn's disease, ulcers, and tumors of the small intestine. What can I expect during capsule endoscopy? My staff will prepare you for the examination by applying a sensor device to your abdomen with adhesive sleeves similar to tape. The pill-sized capsule endoscope is swallowed and passes naturally through your digestive tract while transmitting video images to a day recorder worn on your belt for approximately 8 hours. At the end of the procedure, or the next day, you will return to the office and the data recorder is removed so that images of your small bowel can be put on a computer screen for me to review. How should I prepare for the procedure? An empty stomach allows for the best and safest examination, so you should have no solids to eat for approximately 12 hours before the examination. Now my staff will review the preparation for WCE with you. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. I will be going over the prep instructions for the PillCam Small Bowel Wireless Capsule Endoscopy. To ensure the best results for your PillCam Capsule Endoscopy, follow your doctor's instructions carefully and completely. Abstain from smoking 24 hours prior to undergoing this test. Adhesive covers will be used to attach antenna leads to your abdominal area. The antenna leads must not be removed for 8 hours during the test. If you experience discomfort such as skin irritation or pain while the antenna leads are attached, please call the doctor. You will need to purchase Mylocon drops or Simethicone, usually found in the infant aisle at your local store or pharmacy. Reglin, fill the prescription given to you at your local pharmacy. The day before your test, in order to securely adhere the antenna leads, you must not apply powders or body lotions to your abdominal area. Male patients should shave their abdomen six inches above and below the navel. Start a clear liquid diet after lunch. Apple juice, water, Sprite, Gatorade, clear, yellow only. At 9 p.m., take one Raglan tablet and two full droppers of Mylocon drops. Mix in four ounces of water. At 10 p.m., nothing to your drink except for necessary medication, which can be taken with a sip of water. If you take heart or blood pressure medication, you must take it no later than two hours before the test. The day of the capsule endoscopy, two hours before your test, take one Reglan tablet, two full droppers of Mylocon drops mixed in four ounces of water. Do not apply body lotions or powders to your abdominal area. The antenna leads need to adhere to your skin. Wear loose fitting two piece clothing. After swallowing the pill cam, the capsule endoscopy procedure will last approximately eight hours. Contact our office immediately if you suffer from any abdominal pain, nausea, or vomiting during the procedure. You may drink clear liquids starting two hours after swallowing the capsule. You may have a light snack four hours after capsule ingestion. After the examination is completed, you may return to your normal diet. Check the blue flashing data recorder light every 15 minutes to be sure it is blinking twice per second. If it stops blinking or changes color, note the time and contact the doctor's office if less than six hours. Keep in mind that as you come to the end of the test, the light will change to an orange or red color. Use the supplied capsule endoscopy event form to note the time of the event, such as eating, drinking, or a change in your activity. 
Return the completed form to your doctor at the time that you return the equipment. Avoid strong electromagnetic fields such as MRI or ham radios after swallowing the capsule and until you pass it in a bowel movement. Do not disconnect the equipment or completely remove the belt at any time during the test. Treat the data recorder carefully. Avoid sudden movements or damage to the data recorder. Avoid direct exposure to sunlight. The capsule will pass naturally in three to five days. It is disposable and non-retrievable. Do not engage in strenuous exercise and no other medical exams such as telemetry should be done on the day of the test. After completing small bowel capsule endoscopy, return to the doctor's office at nine in the morning to have the equipment removed. Or to remove the equipment at the end of the test, do the following. Disconnect the sensor array from the data recorder. Take off the recorder belt with the data recorder and keep it in a safe place. Remove the sensor array from your abdomen by peeling off each adhesive sleeve, starting with the adhes non-adhesive tab and leaving the sensor inside the sleeve. Do not pull the sensor array wires or leads and do not remove the sensors from the paper adhesive sleeves. Place the sensor array with the rest of the equipment. Return all the equipment to our office as soon as possible. Handle the equipment recorder and other equipment carefully without exposing them to shock, vibration, or direct sunlight. You are responsible for the equipment during the time of your exam. If you are not sure that the capsule has passed out of your body or you develop unexplained nausea, abdominal pain, or vomiting, contact us immediately for an evaluation. The doctor will be in shortly to answer any questions.